Okay, here's another League of Legends game coming your way, this time with Volibear in the jungle. As for Volibear, he was recently buffed, and the team needs a tank, so... Yeah, two birds, one stone. Technically three, because you'll see when the game loads. But I'm kind of curious how this is going to play out for Garen, because... Heimer should kind of tear him a new one. Ooh, crap. Okay, this is really, really bad. I've also heard things about uh, Glacial Augment, I think this is called. Whatever this keystone is with Tom Kench. It's really, really hard to actually get away from his devour. And what also kind of sucks is I will have a little trouble with his devour since I'm going to be pretty beefy in terms of HP. The Volibear build, in case you're wondering, the core is Cinder Hulk into Righteous Glory. From there, build whatever you need. Now, Old Swain had a lot of dots, which is why I would normally want to go Adaptive Helm. That will help with Garen's spin to win, but everyone else is like solid chunks of magic damage. So you can see Volibear has the whole Alphonse Elric thing going on here. So it shall be. But before we get into that, runes. We're running Aftershock, Bone Plating, Conditioning, Unflinching, Alacrity, Coup de Gras. Coup de Gras is so you can execute people with your bite. Now as for the skin, in case you're wondering. This was a custom skin under development by someone I don't remember who offhand. And with the whole changes to where custom skins are no longer allowed, he realized, why finish it, just release what I have, people can enjoy it, yada yada yada. So if not for the whole custom skin debacle, then, well, right outlawing them, I should say, then this would one day be finished and all would be well with the world. But as is, it's just going to stay like this until it's finally completely removed. As for Volibear, let's go over how he works, because he wasn't too common before this patch. He's pretty high up in win rate, though, so you'll be seeing him a lot. Passive is chosen in the storm, when you fall below about a third of your health, you heal for about a third of your health over six seconds, two minute cooldown. Q is rolling thunder, this gives you surge of movement speed that doubles when running towards champions, your next attack will deal bonus damage and flip the enemy behind you. W is frenzy, passive auto attack increase as you swing, basically it stacks up to three times. The amount you get scales with rank of the move. When you hit three stacks, you can invite the enemy to execute them, scales off your bonus health and their missing health. Refunded if you buy a minion monster, so champions, you have to do the whole 20 second cooldown. Your E is another one that's changed a little bit. Majestic War is no longer just a fear to minion or jungle creep, and minions too, I guess. It also has that little knockback attached to it that works on enemy champions, and it deals bonus damage if the enemy that you're using it on does not have their feet on the ground. So if they have something that allows them to move or what have you, yeah. Otherwise, your Q will suffice. So I'm a little concerned about my passive being rocked here. Let's get the potion ticking. We're gonna leave the chickens alone because those will rip me apart. Let's grab the cube. And Heimer's nest. It's not bad. As fate decreed. And then finally, your ult is completely unchanged. The Thunderclaws, where you enchant your claws and. Works like the old Ionic Spark, and kind of like a static shiv of sorts. Bounces up to 8 enemies, deals a little bit of extra damage. Not really anything special, I'm afraid. Like, it can help in team fights, but it's not going to turn the tide. Trust your instincts. <laughs> Can't. 
So maybe there is something to Klepto Ash. I don't know. So anyway, I'm not going to screw around here too much. You're just now noticing? Now, I don't know New Swain's damages, which is why I made sure to kill him. <laughs> no need to mince words, I guess. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to do that after he hits level 6. Because Old Swain, he could 1v2 when he hit level 6. Like, I know very little about him. I don't really have much interest in playing him at the moment. That may change someday, and forgot to mention, don't roar unless you have to, because it devours your mana. It costs about a fifth of the whole entire damn pool. I can't really afford that. I'm only going to be spamming the W. And even then, it's not quite spamming, I guess. Actually, scratch that. I'm gonna be going back in a second. <laughs> Otherwise, I lose my passive. Going for the chicken camp now. There's Jarvin. And you do want to use it here. <laughs> for the love of God, use it, man. These chickens will tear you apart. So I'm hoping I can poach his Gromp. Trust your instincts. Live, Zoe, live. Blue Smite, because Valibear has trouble keeping up with stuff. And with that, I now actually have mana regen, so I'm willing to fight. Oh man, that poor Garen. Didn't really want to take both, but yeah. So, let me break that. I don't go to town. Thing is, Volibear is one of those guys who gets really dangerous as your HP goes down, just like Garen and a couple others, the guys who have executes primarily. So I can't do this too easily, Period, but especially now I don't have my Cinder Hulk. So 
So anyway, we're at 12% bonus damage. I'm biting it now. We should come up a little now later on so I can spike it. Now I should tank this because I have, for one, my passive as well as my potions. Kind of scumbag there, Ash. So they shouldn't have any clue where I drop that exactly. I was saying, okay, if someone's running domination, they may have given them a stack of bounty hunter and may have been worth it, but none of us are. Oh, Heimer is. Let the storm follow in my wake. He stole my red, but I don't give a damn. I took the infernal and his bot laner's lives. So right there is my armor kicking in. But yeah, Volibear is ridiculously strong right now. Hey, Championship Ash, I didn't even notice. Ooh, that's his life. <laughs> yeah. Anyone in his gut? That red buff is gonna be ooh, buster shot, never mind. So I'd say that red buff's gonna be really rough because that's gonna be additional damage as she slows them, and it might be a bigger slow than her frost shot currently, but we may never know. Let the storm fall. Another infernal coming up, I have to see if they surrender them. To be honest, it's not gonna get better for them. Maxing Q second. The hell, guys. No bail out, bail out. Nice old bro. Hoping Ash got an assist off that. She deserves it. That was four guys, keep in mind. If I had my flash up, I actually could have jumped into the Cataclysm and protected her from Jarvan. I don't know what all I could have actually body blocked beyond that, but Strength there may have been something. Your team has destroyed a turret. Here, Zoe, 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 Zoe. If Nami wants it, she can have it out. So I get 20% attack speed with each stack. Wow, that is busted, man. So that's three stacks, puts me at 60% bonus. So it shall be. 
was hoping I could have bit Triss, but I don't know if it was because Kench ate her or what. I ended up eating a minion. Trust your instinct. So remember those birds mark his ult. How many charges he has and stuff like that. Like, I don't know what lane they want to push, but I don't want her that far up alone. Your team has destroyed a turret. The thunder calls. <laughs> Strength and wisdom guide me. Poor fortress. I did so much damage to me. Like, I don't know if it's Swain that's dealing the damage, but this will just improve my healing overall. I get healing from Righteous Glory for my passive, and no, Zoe! She was so young, potentially, even though she's supposed to be like some sort of immortal aspect thing. we get that, I don't even think Triss's late game can save her. That's what, 12% bonus? As 24. An enemy has been slain. It's gonna be 
too hard to get on trust. So my passive... <laughs> the fact that the sleep lingers on the ground there is why I have such a problem with it. Let me live! Too young and dead to die. Too beautiful too. <laughs> wow, that was close. <laughs> the calls. I want work treads, it's just the game's ending, so I'm probably not coming back to base, burning whatever gold I have left. Sweet, I got the assist. Double kill. So you know what that means, right? So it shall be. Now if I had a wit's end or something, this would be a little bit different. Something, something, power, friendship, and all that crap. Oh, screw it. Let's start biting. So they don't get to see me dance on their base. But the important thing is you got to see me dance in the river so you know who the boss is even if they don't. Let's give it to Nami. Like, there's a case to be made for anyone other than Heimer, even though Heimer was still a good sport. So Volibear's box, S rank. <laughs> And damage, Ash was the big gun, so to speak. I, you have to remember I was full tank. Seriously. I don't even think this does... No, this doesn't deal bonus damage, it's just a slow. So yeah. And that's that. <sighs> Volibear for you guys. Box, yada yada yada. Oh, no. Not yet. I was thinking I do have champion capsules, it's just... I'm gonna hold on to these until the next patch. I forgot all about that. And we have a new box, so... That's all, folks. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.